post or possibly promote your channel or ask folks to subscribe to your channel. So you've probably seen that if you've ever watched YouTube videos and you wonder, well, how can I add a link like that to my videos? Here's how you do it. You're going to come in to your video manager, log into your YouTube account, go to your video manager and select the video that you want to do this for. So you'll actually probably end up seeing um, your full list like this if you've selected your video manager. Come here and just decide, okay, what video do I actually want to add this option to? I'm going to add it to my uh, how to create a new page in WordPress video. So when you come here and see this particular screen, you're going to see these awesome options across the bottom here. You've got one right here that says annotations, and that's the one we want to click on. Selecting annotations, we're going to go over to this screen now and we'll have an option to add a couple of different styles of pop-ups, if you will. Um, so I'm going to go ahead on the right side here and click, I'm going to select note. You can play around with the, all the different options there, but this is how you mainly do it. It's going to appear every time pretty much in that top left corner. You can drag it around to wherever you would like it to be. Whenever you come over here to the right side and type in what you would like that little window to say, and I, I'm going to do a call to action of um, check out more WordPress quick tips on our Web Tegrity channel. You can change the uh, font size here. You can grab the corner of the box and kind of make it bigger so that it's not missed at all. You can change the font color, even the background color if you want to make it bold and just pop off the page completely. That's a pretty cool option. And then scrolling down the page, now's the time to place it where you want the whole little message to pop up. What part of your video do you want it to actually appear? Here on the left side, you can actually grab that little box and move it around to whatever part, a timeline of the video you'd like it to appear in. So I'm going to put it closer to the end because that's always a good spot if people make it to the end there for a kind of a call to action. So that they don't lose interest in your channel, you definitely want them to be able to, to uh, connect with more videos that you may have. So I want to test that and kind of see what that looks like in the video itself. So I'm going to drag the timeline player closer to my little um, pop-up bubble here and press play just to see the placement in the video. Let's see what that looks like. Because what that will do when you save the menu, it's going to make it a sub-menu underneath Revolver. But we don't want it to be a sub-menu. We want it to be linked there like you go. everything else. So I think that actually looks pretty great and it'll continue on for those 37 seconds, uh, whatever I've posted it, however long I've, I've wanted it to be there. If it's too long, you can obviously just kind of re readjust this, drag it uh, to whatever length you'd like it to be. Now that creates the pop-up window, but how do I actually link it to somewhere so that when somebody clicks on it, it'll take them to either another video or my channel and so forth and so on. Over here on the right side, you're going to see a little link option. When you check that, it'll give you a drop-down option for a couple of different places. Sadly, WordPress doesn't allow you to link to your website, but they do allow you to link to your Google Plus uh, uh, page, they allow you to link to your channel, maybe another video, if you have another video in this category or this genre uh, that they're already watching, it's great to just tell them check out more. Uh, so here I'm just going to link it though over to our uh, channel at this point. You can preview the link if you like just by clicking that little blue option just to be sure you get it right, but I know that that's correct. So I'm going to scroll up to the top here and click save. If it's already saved, I'm going to click publish. That actually takes your whole uh, little pop-up window now and adds it to your video and puts it on your channel. What a cool little option, huh? It's a really great, good idea to cross-promote all your videos. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Check us out over at webtegrity.com if you have any other questions.